All right, folks, new week, new tutorial for the Steam Deck, a five minute tutorial for PSP emulation. So let's start this off. As usual, I'm recording via my capture card. So just in case people are wondering why I'm not recording off screen. So first thing is to do is to hit the Steam menu. We're going to go to power and we're going to go to switch to desktop and then we're going to go to discover software center and we're going to search the emulator here and it's called ppss if you just even put in ppss and you hit enter that's the very very first one there at the top hit install on that and left click it then when it's installed hit launch so we're going to launch it in desktop mode first to configure it so nice and simple the first thing we want to do is we want to go to settings okay and by default you see the graphics settings has OpenGL and 2 by psp which means render rendering resolution multiplied by two now if you want to default to full screen as well you can which is handy which will expand that to full screen remember these settings i'll be importing this application into steam so you can play it through gaming mode so best off set the settings here now leave frame skipping off because there's plenty of power behind the steam deck for this type of emulation uh, I pretty much left everything default on the graphic settings. You can mess around with these and tweak with these. What we want to do most importantly is we want to go to controls and control mapping. So when we go to control mapping really, really handy, go to auto configure and then left click the Steam Deck. OK, and it'll pre-populate as per the game pad because by default it will have it selected as per keyboard. So once that's done, auto configure and you can now see that it'll actually automatically configure as per your Steam Deck controller, which is great. Next thing to do is to make sure that you have turned on the memory stick or the emulated version of the memory stick. So if I go to system and you scroll down and make sure that you see memory stick is checkboxed and it's set to 16 gig by default. So make sure that's checkbox because you want to be able to save uh, through the game naturally. And once that's done, go back. And we're not going to launch a game yet, but to find games by default, when you come on the default screen, you'll see here it's kind of a, got a inbuilt explorer. So basically my ISOs are in downloads. So there you can see I have a copy of Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, which I'm going to play in a few minutes. I physically own the game, as you can see here, because I've been playing it over the weekend, actually, on my PSP. So that was the point of this. I wanted to see what it would play like on the Steam Deck. OK, before we do that, we're going to close out with PSSPP and close this window as well. We're going to launch up a normal version of Steam, not the gaming mode. So once the session is launched, you're going to want to go to games, add non Steam game to library. And if you scroll down, you should see it listed. There it is. PPSSPP. Checkbox that. Hit add selected programs. Close out of this session. Go to return to gaming mode. So once gaming mode is back, you're going to want to go to Steam. You're going to go to library. You're going to go into non Steam. Okay. And you will see it listed there. PPSSPP. Left click that. You don't need to change anything in properties. You don't need to use. A compatibility tool because uh, this emulator is native to uh, Linux, no, no requirement to use Proton or anything like that. So pretty much fire ahead and launch it, hit play and it loads up and you can see it even loads up on full screen for me there. And then pretty much go to your games. Now there's my recent games, but just to do it fully, I go to downloads and then I'm going to left click on Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops and away it loads. So there you have it. I'm actually going to switch briefly to off screen just to show you some off screen footage of it being played on the Steam Deck. So as you can see here, works really well actually, in particular Portable Ops. It's actually the only Metal Gear Solid game I've not actually played. So I've actually tweaked the controls a little bit more to suit this game because by default it uses the D-pad to turn the camera, but I've actually set it up so that it uses the analogs, which makes the game way better to control than it does on the PSP. But anyway, that's it guys for another tutorial video for the Steam Deck. If you've enjoyed what you've watched and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.